Betelgeuse is a star that needs no introduction. It is one of the brightest and most well-known stars in the night sky, easily visible to the naked eye as the red shoulder of Orion the Hunter. But Betelgeuse is not just a pretty sight. It is also a red supergiant, a massive star that has swollen to a huge size and is nearing the end of its life. It is expected to explode as a supernova in the future, but the exact timing and mechanism of this event are still uncertain. One of the mysteries surrounding Betelgeuse is its rotation. Is it really spinning as fast as some previous observations suggested? Or is there another explanation for its apparent rotation? Why does this matter for understanding the evolution and fate of Betelgeuse and other massive stars? In this video, we will explore these questions and more, based on a new study by Jing Ma and others that challenges the idea of the rapid rotation of Betelgeuse. Stay tuned to find out more. The first thing we need to do is look at the evidence for the rapid rotation of Betelgeuse. This evidence comes from the observations made by the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array in 2017. ALMA is a powerful telescope that can observe the cold gas and dust around stars and galaxies. In 2017, it took an amazing image of Betelgeuse's surface, showing the bright spots that indicate hot gas rising from the interior. This image is the most detailed ever taken of a star other than the Sun. But ALMA did not just take a picture of Betelgeuse. It also measured its angular diameter and its rotational velocity. The angular diameter is the apparent size of the star as seen from Earth, and the rotational velocity is the speed at which the star spins around its axis. These measurements are important because they tell us about the physical properties and the history of the star. ALMA found that Betelgeuse has an angular diameter of about 50 milliard seconds, which means that it is so big that it would span the orbit of Jupiter if placed in our solar system. It also found that Betelgeuse has a rotational velocity of about 15 kilometers per second, which means that it is spinning about 150 times faster than the Sun. These results are surprising and puzzling. How can a star be so big and so fast at the same time? According to the standard theory of stellar evolution, a star like Betelgeuse should slow down as it expands because of the conservation of angular momentum. This is the same principle that makes a figure skater spin faster when she pulls her arms in and slower when she stretches them out. But Betelgeuse seems to defy this principle. How can we explain this? What does this mean for the structure and history of Betelgeuse? Could it be that Betelgeuse has a binary companion that transferred some angular momentum to it? Or that Betelgeuse merged with another star in the past and gained some extra spin? Or that Betelgeuse has a strong magnetic field that affects its rotation? These are some of the possibilities that have been proposed by some astronomers, but none of them are very convincing or well supported by the data. There must be another way to solve this puzzle. And this is where the new study by Jing Ma and others comes in. The new study by Jing Ma and others offers an alternative hypothesis for the apparent rotation of Betelgeuse. Instead of assuming that it is really spinning fast, they suggest that the apparent rotation is due to large-scale convection on its surface, which is the process of heat transfer through the movement of fluid. You can see convection in action when you boil water in a pot or when you watch the clouds in the sky. It also happens inside stars, where hot gas rises from the core to the surface and cold gas sinks from the surface to the core. This creates a complex pattern of cells and flows that can affect the appearance and behavior of the star. To test their hypothesis, Jing Ma and others used 3D simulations of non-rotating red supergiants and synthetic ALMA observations to compare with the real data. They created a model of Betelgeuse that included the effects of convection, the opacity of the gas, and the resolution of the telescope. They then generated images of the model star, as seen by ALMA, and measured its angular diameter and rotational velocity. They repeated this process for different viewing angles and different phases of the star's pulsation, which is another phenomenon that affects red supergiants, where the star expands and contracts periodically due to the balance between gravity and pressure. 
Betelgeuse is known to pulsate with a period of about 400 days, which changes its brightness and size over time. So, what did they find? They found that their model can reproduce the observed features of Betelgeuse's surface without requiring rapid rotation. They showed that the bright spots seen by ALMA are not fixed on the star, but move around due to convection. They also showed that the apparent rotation of the star depends on the viewing angle and the phase of the pulsation. They found that some viewing angles and phases can produce a high rotational velocity, while others can produce a low or even negative rotational velocity. This means that the apparent rotation of Betelgeuse is not a real physical property of the star, but an illusion caused by convection and pulsation. They also found that their model agrees well with the angular diameter of Betelgeuse, measured by ALMA, and that the star's size varies by about 10% due to pulsation. Of course, their model is not perfect. It has some limitations and uncertainties, such as the assumptions about the convection, the opacity, and the resolution. They also admit that their model does not rule out the possibility of some rotation of Betelgeuse, but only shows that it is not as fast as previously thought. They acknowledge that more observations are needed to confirm or reject their hypothesis and to constrain the actual rotation rate of Betelgeuse. But their model has some advantages and disadvantages for the evolution and fate of Betelgeuse, which we will discuss in the next section. The final thing we need to do is consider the implications of the new study by Jing Ma and others for the evolution and fate of Betelgeuse. What does their hypothesis mean for the past, present, and future of this star? How does it affect our understanding of red supergiants and massive stars in general? One of the implications of their hypothesis is that Betelgeuse is not as exotic or as unique as previously thought. If it is not really spinning fast, then it is more similar to other red supergiants, such as Antares or Mu Cephei, which have lower rotational velocities. This means that Betelgeuse is not a special case that requires a special explanation, but a normal example of a red supergiant that follows the standard theory of stellar evolution. This also means that Betelgeuse is not a product of a binary interaction or a merger, but a single star that evolved from a massive progenitor. This makes Betelgeuse more predictable and less mysterious, but also more representative and more reliable. Another implication of their hypothesis is that Betelgeuse is not as unstable or as close to exploding as previously thought. If it is not really spinning fast, then it is less likely to lose mass or to develop instabilities that could trigger a supernova. This means that Betelgeuse is not on the verge of blowing up, but it still has some time left before it reaches the end of its life. This also means that Betelgeuse is not a candidate for a gamma ray burst, which is a powerful explosion that occurs when a rapidly rotating star collapses into a black hole. This makes Betelgeuse less dangerous and less exciting, but also more benign and more peaceful. Of course, these implications are not definitive or conclusive. They are based on the hypothesis that Betelgeuse is not really spinning fast, which is still not proven or accepted by all astronomers. There are still some uncertainties and challenges for this hypothesis, such as the need for more observations, the possibility of some rotation, and the effects of other factors, such as magnetic fields, binarity, or chemical composition. There are also still some questions and mysteries about Betelgeuse and other red supergiants, such as the exact mechanism and timing of the supernova, the origin and evolution of the convection and the pulsation, and the role and impact of these stars in the galaxy and the universe. These are some of the topics that we will explore in future videos, so stay tuned. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we will try to answer them. Thank you for watching and see you next time.